Hey guys, Coach Lewis, Upper Iowa Baseball with FigureItOutBaseball.com. Good to have you today. Today we're going to go over pitch and machine setup. We use these on a daily basis. We just want to make sure we're getting as game-like as humanly possible. Couple of things. Number one, right? Pitch and mound, the home plate, we're looking at the 60 feet, 6 inches, okay? The one issue with this, nobody really throws from 60 feet, 6 inches. Once a pitcher gets into his motion, okay, number one, we're looking somewhere between 3 to 5 feet, depending on age and those kinds of things. An easy tape measure will help you figure out what age level you're working with, what's appropriate. Okay, the other thing is, very few guys are truly going to throw from straight in the middle of the rubber or even off to the side, and we're not going to get the correct angle. So we want to make sure that we offset the pitching machine, and again, an easy way to do this, measure right the average arm length for all of your kids, no matter what age you're, you're working with or what age you are, and we're going to offset that. So if my arm is three feet, we're going to come off three feet, set the pitching machine up. Now the kids are getting the appropriate angle that's really, really going to be game-like. If I was to kind of go through the motion, again, you can see, number one, I'm going to cut about five feet, three to four or five feet, depending on your age, whether it's 12 or 18-year-olds. And then once we get out to arm release, it's going to be about the same, so you can adjust this pitching machine depth as far as you need to to fit what's going to work with your guys. Maybe somebody has a longer arm and you're getting ready for a scatter report, we can move this thing off to the side again. We can do it on the left side, we can do it on the right side. We just want to make it as game-like as possible and as applicable to whatever arm we're going to see coming up. We want to make sure we have the tape measure here, right, which is the middle of the rubber. But again, nobody really pitches from there per se. So we want to make sure that we offset it so that we get out here to create a game-like angle that our hitters are going to see on a daily basis, right? One of the things we all hear from our lefties if you have a lefty arm that you're facing, they often say, Coach, I feel like that ball is coming from behind me. Again, this is the kind of thing, if we wanted to get really, really extreme, we can really make it come from behind a guy, but at least now he has reps at seeing that so that when he gets into a game, it's not something that's completely foreign and completely new, okay? Again, figure out with your kids, whatever age group you're working with, what is the distance that guys are gonna stride, and then you just wanna make sure, hey, we're gonna measure 55 feet, and go from there so that everything is realistic. Again, the tape measure can be a really good tool for us, right? To make sure that we're, we're at the right distances of what are gonna be game-like. So what we do, our tape measure just has a clip on the bottom of it. We go ahead and put it right on the front here, just like this. We'll measure it out to whatever distance we want, right? We always treat 55 feet as our game-like distance, right? That's our full length, because again, that's kind of at the college level, that's gonna be the average distance that guys are gonna see a pitch from release point. Now, if you want to do half stuff, right, half the time of recognition, you could put it at 27 feet. If you wanted to do a quarter of the distance reaction time, then you put it at about 13 feet. Again, it's all variable, depending on what you want to do and what you want your guys to see. We just always make sure every day we set this up, we have the tape measure so that we know exactly what we're trying to get done on that day. We also want this tape measure out here because it allows us to see the angle, right, of what we're gonna get. And if we wanted it to be more extreme, then we could just move this thing out a little bit, right, and we can do the same thing on the left side, but it allows you as a coach or even a player to visually see what angle we're gonna get. Coach Lewis with Upper Iowa and Figure It Out Baseball. Today we went over pitching machine setup. Don't forget to check out my next video, Levels of Learning.